In today's tutorial, I will show you how to install Shad CN using React. To get started, we can go to the documentation and click installation. I will be using Vite to set up my React app, so I'll click Vite. Switching over the VS Code, this is an empty project. For the first step, I will just create my React app using Vite, and so I can copy this command. Going back to VS Code, I will just paste this command inside the terminal to create my React app. You can name the project whatever you like. I'll just hit enter to use the default name. Then for the framework, I will select React. For the variant, select which option makes the most sense for you. I will just choose TypeScript for this example and hit enter. Now I will switch into the project. Going back to the documentation, we can now copy this second command here and paste it into our terminal and just hit enter. This is what it should look like once everything's successfully installed. Going back to the documentation, we now need to just copy this section of code into our tsconfig.json file. We can easily do that by going to our project now and opening up the file. At the very top, we can just paste in exactly what we copied and just make sure to add a comma and hit save. For the next step, we need to update the vite.config.ts file. Before we edit the file, we need to run this command here. So I will copy it and go back to my terminal and just run the command. Going back to the documentation, just copy all of the code that you see here. Open up the vite.config.ts file and just replace all of the code with the code that you just copied and hit save. For the next step, just copy this command from the documentation and just paste it in your terminal to run it. You will now see some questions asking you how you want to configure your project. You can configure your project options however you like, but I'm going to be using the settings from the documentation. So if we scroll down, I'm going to copy all the settings that you see here. Going back to VS Code, I'm just going to select yes for using TypeScript. For the style, I will select default. For the color, I will select slate. For the location of my global CSS file, I will just use what the documentation has, which is source slash index.css. So I will just do that and hit enter. For CSS variables, I will just select yes. For this question about a custom tailwind prefix, I will just leave a blank and hit enter. For this next question, I will just use the default value and hit enter. Same thing for this question. And also for the import alias for the UTOS file, I will just use the default value. So I will hit enter. For this question about React server components, if you are using them, select yes, but in this case, I'll just be selecting no. Double check are your settings correct, and if they are, just type Y and hit enter. This is what it should look like once everything is successfully initialized. To make sure everything is working as expected, we can go back to the documentation and copy the code here. Then go to your terminal and paste in the command, and once it's done, this is what it should look like. Open up the app.tsx file and just make sure to include the import statement and then add the code for the button component. Then start your React app by running the command npm run dev. You should see an address and if we just open it up, you can now see the button component here. If you see this exact screen, that means you set up everything correctly and you can now install any components from the Shad CN UI library. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.